So one of the questions that I often get asked is, Armando, what light source are you using to film your YouTube videos, your main key light? And if you guys have been watching any of my videos for the last eight months, and I have filmed it here at the studio, I've been using the Aperture 120D with the Light Dome. And I've always said this, I know filmmaking equipment can be very expensive, cameras, and you have to add a good microphone, and you have to get media, and it just could get really pricey. And I've always said this, invest in a good light. You wanna have at least one good light, just like you wanna have at least one good lens. Because if you have one good lens, you can get some really nice, creamy, bokeh, sharp images, but at the same time, if you don't have a good light, it can ruin your image. So at least if you can save up money and buy one good light, uh, this would be the one that I would recommend, mainly because it offers so much value for your money. Now, this is not a review, and also I'm not getting paid by Aperture to make this video. I'm making this video because I've genuinely used this light for the last eight months and it's just been a phenomenal light. So the 120D is the light source which uses a Bowens mount. It's a pretty universal mount that a lot of accessories attach to it. One of those accessories which they actually make is this light dome which is this big giant softbox. Now this softbox is pretty special because it has two levels of diffusion. It has one really close to the light source which they're LED lights and it has one a bit further apart. Now the further apart you set your diffusion from the light source, the much softer image that you're gonna get, especially great for skin tones, which is something that I really like because you have this really nice soft look and as opposed to something really harsh. Now right now I am only using just this one light. Obviously the windows are here and they're slightly cracked open just to bring in some natural light to kind of like the background, and I get it, you may not have that in your studio, but as of right now, and I'll show you guys, that is the only light source that I have in terms of main key light. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off just to show you the difference with no other lights here. It's pretty dark, I mean, you could barely see my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on so you can see the difference. Now what I like about this light in particular is how bright it is. So right now, I am at the lowest setting, so this is set to 10%, which is the lowest it goes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it, or bring it up to 100%, just so you can see how bright this guy gets. That's pretty bright. Obviously, I would never use it like this unless I was outside, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down all the way to 10%, which is the level I typically use it. Now I like this remote control because obviously I can turn it on, I can bring the intensity if I'm looking at my monitor and I'm seeing that I need to bring it up a little bit, I can just sit here, bring up the uh, light source slowly, and then, oh, no, you know what, it's too bright, let me bring it down. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I really like that. And now if you have multiple of these, you can actually group them together, put them on uh, the same channel, you can turn them on at the same time. So that's very convenient, obviously, if you have multiple ones. The controller itself also accepts a V-mount battery, so if you wanna take this on to go, it's actually a great portable light. Now there's two versions of this light. This is actually version 1.0. Uh, version 2.0, I believe, came out like six months ago. Now, I will say this. If you do plan to take this on to go, get version 2.0. It's much better in terms of like breaking it down and portability. I mean, this is portable, don't get me wrong, but just breaking it down, this thing is a pain. It has these weird rods that you have to like pull apart. It's almost like building a tent. It's, it's a pain, you don't wanna mess with this. Again, if you do plan to take this a lot on the go, get version 2.0. But if it's going to live in the studio like this one here, it's just gonna stay here. I'm never gonna take it anywhere, I'm just gonna leave it here. Definitely get version 1.0 just because it's a lot more inexpensive. Now, the thing is, like I said, I'm only using one key light and using a really good source of light, you can combine it with other more inexpensive practical lights. For example, the lights you see back there, these are the $5 fairy lights that I picked up on Amazon. And just adding these lights in the background makes a big difference and I don't have to spend a lot of money. I have another light back there also, it's a lamp actually that I picked up on at Ikea and it's like 50 bucks I believe. Let me go ahead and turn that on and you can see the difference. Just adding the fairy lights, adding a $50 Ikea lamp just makes it so much nicer and I don't have to spend so much money because I have one good source of light. And again, I'm not using any other lights. I'm not using my typical hair light. I'm not using a kicker light. This is the only light that I'm using right now opposed to obviously some natural light that's coming in to this room. So I'll leave links down below in the description if you guys are interested in picking one up and also to these little $5 fairy lights and the lamp that you can pick up at Ikea. So it's these little things that make a difference and just 
overall improve your video quality. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Armando. Thanks for watching and you guys will catch me in the next one. Adios.